Hi, in this guide I'm going to be talking about using Z attack proxy to brute force a website in the sense that you're going to be locating links that you may not have known existed on that site. And this is a great way to find admin consoles or you know additional login pages that maybe the site owner didn't want to uh, make public but was still forced to put on their server anyway. So this uh, it's actually very simple to do in Zattack Proxy. Um, if you need help setting up Zattack Proxy to work with your browser or your network settings, check out my other uh, video tutorial, um, Zattack Proxy Setup Guide. So that being said, we're going to open up Zap here, and we're going to go to a web page called Web Scanner Test. Um, when you visit this web page, Zap will populate the site list, and you can then go down here to the Brute Force tab and select directory list. I choose 10.txt, but there's plenty of other options you can do, and if you don't get all the results you need from the first one, you can try the others. And then you're going to make sure that the webscantest.com site, or the site that you'd like to scan, is on the left-hand side. And then you choose to press the play button here, which begins the brute force. And you'll notice that it goes through and it essentially tries a bunch of different pages that are set up within that uh, text file to scan. So it, unlike the spidering functionality, which essentially just follows links that are present on those pages, this functionality tests to see if pages exist based on a predefined dictionary of popular web page terms. So it's going to take a while to go through this dictionary, and I'm going to stop it right here. But you'll notice you can scroll through and it'll, it'll try to find different pages that are you know, login pages, privacy pages, that kind of thing. So that's everything that you really need to know about brute forcing using a directory listing. Um, be sure to check out some more of my videos on Zattack Proxy for more advanced topics and as well as uh, less advanced topics. So thanks for watching and be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions.